This is working out like The Rock for 30 days straight. You've no doubt heard of The Rock, and you've probably seen one of his hit movies. The Rock is not only famous for his lead roles in box office films, but also for keeping his body in superhero-like shape. So how does he do it? The Rock, Dwayne Johnson, owes his legendary body to a workout routine that is truly fit for a superhero. He trains six days a week and he never misses a single workout because he quite literally travels with his own gym that he's dubbed the Iron Paradise. So is it really possible to work out like The Rock for 30 days? And what kind of results would I see if I did? All right, you guys, day one. This is my dad bod. I don't have to tell you that. You can see pretty clearly here that I have a decent sized belly that I'm working with. This is where the majority of my fat rests. There's almost no definition on my body at all. It's just basically flat nothingness. A little bit of arm muscle up here, a little bit. Basically no pecs, zero abs. The idea is that this challenge will transform me into a mystical-like being like The Rock. I think it's gonna be really difficult. Send help. Day one of training, I'm stoked. I just got to the gym and uh, yeah, I mean, let's do this. Week one, you guys, day four. The first few days have been going super well. I'm stoked about my consistency, just being able to be in the gym every day. I'm really hoping that I can keep that ball rolling and just keep my consistency up. The only complaint that I have is that I'm pretty sore at the end of every day, but that's to be expected from somebody that just decides to work out like The Rock <laughs> on a whim. Now, I haven't been able to match The Rock on everything that he does, and that's obvious because he's 6'5 and 260 pounds. I'm 5'7 and 150 pounds at the beginning of this challenge. He's twice as big as me. There's just no way that I'm gonna match his numbers in terms of calorie input and output every day. He literally burns 5,000 calories a day. I'm gonna do an hour of pull on Mondays, an hour of push exercises on Tuesday, an hour of leg exercises on Wednesday, and then I'm gonna repeat that cycle Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. And then on Monday, Wednesday, Friday, I'm also gonna be adding in 30 minutes of ab workouts. On top of all of this, you guys, Every one of those days, I'm also going to be doing an hour of cardio. I'm gonna die. I'm literally going to die. <laughs> I'm gonna be pushing myself to my ultimate limit, you guys. This is more than anything I've ever attempted. I'm really excited, but as time goes on, I know it's going to get difficult. Let's just keep this ball rolling. finished an 18 mile run. I've also depleted way too many calories for the day. I still need to lift today. I don't know how I'm gonna accomplish that. Uh, I'm gonna go sit in the sauna, try to uh, get my legs stretched out and then um, eat something because I definitely need calories. And then later today, I will finish my lifting set for the week. <gasps> Using up all these calories on a daily basis and then trying to fill them back up is exhausting. I just don't even know how The Rock does this every day. Like, holy freaking crap. This is hard, you guys. Very, very hard. But hopefully the results will be worth it. Obviously, I'm not going to get yoked like The Rock without an insane workout routine. Equally as important is going to be my diet. Now, The Rock eats seven meals a day. <laughs> seven meals, you guys. And he consumes about 6,000 calories throughout those seven meals, obviously all high in protein. There's no way that I'm gonna eat 6,000 calories. I would just end up throwing up or on the toilet all day long. But sooner or later, you're gonna get tired of wiping your butt. So my goal is going to be to consume 3,500 calories. I'm shopping for items that are high in protein like fish, like chicken and eggs. Let's do this. Along with eating meals that are high in protein, I will also be drinking a protein shake after every lifting session and eating one protein bar a day. I, I, can't, I can't tell you guys how sick of these things I am. They taste terrible. I hate them. Eating quickly became the worst part of the rock routine for me. I'm typically a small eater and shoving 3,500 calories into my body on a daily basis definitely took its toll. 
In true rock fashion, I decided at the end of week two to embark on a crazy run up the highest mountain pass in California for some extra cardio on the weekend. 9,000, 9,000 baby. Another thousand to go. Woo! Doesn't get better than this, you guys. I mean, come on. That's amazing. <laughs> wow. Woo! Woo, leg day. I, I hate leg day. I hate it so much. I'm gonna do abs first, and then I'm gonna do legs. Day 20, I am at the gym, going to get a pole workout in, and then uh, do some cardio. We will run. I just finished 3.7 miles. I cut today's run a little short. As I predicted, yesterday's leg day just destroyed me. It, it's so hard to run after leg day. Ugh. I'll probably have to put some cardio in later today. Day 20, what, wait, 20? 21, 21, <laughs> losing track of days. Uh, day 21 and I'm getting an early start on the day. It is 6.05, you guys, and I'm at the gym. I'm gonna do some abs and then push for the day to end the week. <gasps> this is a tiring one, but I think I'm seeing some results, which is super exciting. I'm excited to show you guys those results. Next week's gonna be a big week, and yeah, big, huge reveal. That's right, big, huge reveal. <laughs> it's gonna be so disappointing if it's just nothing, like I've gained no muscle mass at all. <laughs> uh, I, I, think, I think we'll see some results, but let's get to it. Day 26, we're getting towards the end here guys and I am feeling pretty dang good. At the gym it is six in the morning. I am going to do some abs and then going to do pull. Stiff. Five miles, got her done. Day 26 is in the bag, you guys, and it's only 9.19 a.m. So much time yet in the day. That always feels kind of weird when I complete the whole thing in just a couple hours. <clears throat> but that's like 1,200 calories right there. I did, as per usual, like 30 minutes of abs, um, about 45 minutes of pull, and then uh, a five mile run. So yeah, feeling strong getting there. Day 30, last day of the rock challenge. Whew, I can't believe I made it this far to be honest, but I'm really stoked to just go and pump some iron, uh, get this workout over with, and then show you guys the final results. Promised a final reveal, a final reveal you will get. Ah, there it is, my new body. <laughs> yeah, I mean, let's talk about what we can see improvement wise on my body. You can definitely see some bigger arms. Um, I for sure have larger like biceps. My shoulders have gotten bigger. I think I've definitely have a little bit more definition in the pec area. I still, I still don't have really abs yet. I mean, you can start to see a little bit of an outline maybe of some abs. You can also definitely see some improvements in the leg area. This is not something that I was really hoping to see improvements in, but I mean, I'll take it as an added bonus. So you can definitely see some visual results, but let's talk about the numbers. I started this challenge off at 150 pounds right there on the dot. I end this challenge at a little bit more than 156 pounds. 
that's crazy. I, I gained six and a half pounds. I can definitely see that there's some muscle mass there. I'm sure that I gained a little bit of fat also just because I was shoving a lot of food into my body. My bench has also gone from a 135 all the way, you guys, up to a 160. That's nuts. That's 25 pounds over the course of four weeks that I've been able to add to my bench, which is super exciting. I'm really pumped about that, and I'm hoping that I can just keep going. Nonetheless, I'm really happy with the results. If I did this for another 30 days, you probably see some even more wild results. My main takeaway from the whole challenge is that although it is extremely difficult and at first, especially, it's hard to get motivated, once you're acclimated to the diet and you're acclimated to the workouts, it's actually pretty addicting. If you like this video, you guys, of course, don't forget to smash that like button. And if you're not already, subscribe to my channel. Come back next Thursday. I'm going to be doing a live stream where I talk about this video and other videos. That's going to be next Thursday at 1 p.m. Pacific Coast time. Don't forget, write it down. I will be reminding you guys on the community page and on my other social media channels, Instagram and Twitter. That's at Isaiah Photo. Go and follow me there, guys, for behind the scenes content and uh, just more everything life, whatever. <laughs> Thank you guys again. I'll see you in the next one. Peace, y'all.